Hello people, this is me Gameboy36. I'm just making a quick video to talk about this dude, Nate Talks to You. I used to like him on YouTube and liked all his videos and content. Even though we might have had disagreements on some stuff, I still felt that he was a quality YouTuber. But over the past couple of years, maybe two, maybe a couple months in between this year, I've started noticing a change. A change that he's become like the lefties that he hated because he admitted that like he was a fan of like the anti-SJW type of people and stuff like that but now he's starting to act like one the reason I say this is because as you can see from the uh, photos excuse me that I've posted on this video I went from being able to comment on his profile to not being able to comment and I had to hop on my backup account now, what do I mean by that? He posted a congratulatory statement about Joe Biden, which is, you know, whatever. The election's not technically over with. But he posted his congrat congratulatory statement about Joe Biden, excuse me. And it's like, okay, whatever. So he was saying he's going to call him out. And if you're just looking at that post alone, you'd think, all right, maybe he'd do it. But he's not going to call Joe Biden out, and that's what I decided to comment. And the reason I say that is because the whole election week, this whole week, he's just been posting, like, low-hanging fruit-type stories about Trump supporters. You'll see, like, Trump supporters praying at the building where, you know, they're trying to get the election stuff sorted out. And he's just, you know, making fun of that and, like, trying to group them up as, like, uh you know, synonymous picture about Trump supports. And I'm like, all right, those are a couple of idiots, but that's not everybody. But he kept doing stuff like that and, you know, pointing to how hypocr you know, the hypocrisy of Trump supporters. And it's like, you can do that, but you need to show some evidence. But he's not doing that. He's just going after low-hanging fruit, as I said. And then in the comments, so because of that, I decided to call him out on his Joe Biden post and say, you're not going to call out anybody. And I didn't even use any, like, threatening language or harsh, like, I said, bullshit. Wow, that's not something where you should block somebody from commenting. And he might go with the, it's my page, I'm allowing whatever I want on my page. Yeah, sure, but that also makes you a hypocrite because you complain about these other people who are Trump supporters, and you would complain and criticize them for doing that same exact thing. But anyway, back to my comment. I criticized him and said he's not going to call out Trump, uh, call out, excuse me, not going to call out Biden. He's just going to sit there and just point to how bad Trump supporters are being by not supporting Joe Biden as president. Whoa, they're crying, etc. He's just going to do that. I know that because that's what he's been doing so far during this election week. So I had to, you know, I decided to hop on Facebook and go to his profile, see if he posted any other cringe. And then I see the share button, which means I couldn't comment because I went into the comments to check if I could comment or like something. And I can't, which means he's stopped me from able to do that. And that means my comment that I'm talking about is gone. So I can't even show you and defend myself on saying that I wasn't even threatening him. So he can go out and lie and say I was. So he that's why he decided to get rid of me. But that's not why he would do that. It's because he's a punk. But yeah, I hopped on my backup and I, you know, made sure to bring photos that I could to back up my point of how he's a punk because he's criticizing Trump supporters while blocking Trump supporters who have legitimate criticism. Like you have AOC literally talking about pe putting people on lists and there's an actual website where they're talking about that too. But he's not t uh, talking about that. He's still criticizing Trump supporters because they're the real problem here, you see. So anyway, again, just want to make this little quick video talking about how hypocritical this dude is. And if you follow him and you're left-leaning, he might be good for you. If you're anywhere outside of that, like right-leaning, he's a hypocrite. And I would suggest that you do like me and try to provide valid criticism, but you might not be able to do that for very much longer. Or you just move on to somebody else. All right, that's it.